Hi friends, welcome back. It's that time again. It's Candy Class with Mr. B. That's me. So nice of you to join us again. As you know, all of my stories, they come from the library. I love the library. It always has all these wonderful stories I can pick and choose from. And it's always free. It's the best place to go. And I hope you can go there too. Today we have Bear by John Shoemaker. It's kind of a sad story, but it's also a nice story. Let's see what it says. Bear. He woke in the cold rain and rolled onto the warm spot where his mother slept. Her scent was weak, and the spot was cold. He sat straight up and took a deep whiff. She was gone. He could smell the trees and the grass and the river and the mountains. There was no fresh smell of mother. He whimpered. He smelled hotter and hotter, but couldn't find his mother. He ran up and down the trails they used, but there was no sign of her. All his life, mother had been near him, finding food and protecting him. Now she was gone. All afternoon, he searched got very hungry. He stopped to nibble at some berries, but they were green and sour. When he tried to dig up some bulbs, a lemming bit his nose. It hurt so much that he turned and ran down the hillside. He found a trail in the deep moss of the spruce forest and followed it fearfully without his mother. He had never been there before. A mother moose charged from behind some boulders and chased him away back into the dark woods. He did not know where he was. Alone, he curled up and went to sleep. The next morning, he found another trail and followed it. He stumbled and whimpered and walked for days over mountains and snowfields and valleys of ash where nothing grew and there was nothing to eat. Then one night he wandered hungrily into a new forest where a black shadow growled and charged towards him. He ran without stopping until he climbed a tree on top of a steep, sandy slope. The big shadow circled and growled and clawed for a long time. Finally, it left. He whimpered until he fell asleep, hugging the cold tree. When morning came, he was hungrier than ever and thirsty. But away down at the bottom of the morn, he could see a stream flowing. He carefully looked around his tree and climbed down. Then he ran and slipped and tumbled down the steep, shifting sands right into the icy water. The water was cold, but it smelled good. It was full of fish. And he saw their backs in the shallows. Big, bright, red bats swam in them. They swam upstream by dozens and dozens and filled the pool with scarlet. He charged after the nearest one. But it got away easily. He ran after all of them till the water was foamy and he was tired. 
but he couldn't catch even one. Oh no, what is our bear friend gonna do? He put his face underwater. He tried to sneak up on him. He sneaked faster and faster until he was like a moving wave. All he got was hungry looking. The sun was high in the sky when he climbed a rock in the middle of the stream and saw one last fish. He stood on his hind legs, let out an angry, hungry, tired roar, and jumped through the air and onto it. Now he knew how to fish. For weeks, more fish came upstream, and he caught as many as he wanted. He grew bigger and stronger, and his roar got deeper and deeper as he grew. He chased seagulls, even eagles, from his pool. He was growing so and then when the great dark shadow came to steal fish, he stood up on his hind legs and let out that deepest growl. The old bear ran away and never came back. The salmon stopped coming. He ate ripe berries that covered the hillsides. He had long forgotten his mother, but he was bigger and fatter and fiercer than ever, ready for winter and anything else. The story of Bear. I like that story. It's a little sad in the beginning, but when he grows up, he learns how to fish for himself. It's that time. I know it doesn't last forever, but we do have plenty of videos for you to watch. We'll certainly see you again soon. It's Panda Class with Mr. B. That's me. And it's nice to see you again. Let's raise our right hands in the air. Are you ready? Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. All right, friends. It's nice to see you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.